What is up, YouTube? Dean Gornitis, Unleash This Book Reviews, where I talk to you guys about my reading adventures and where my green screen usually gives me issues and you see like part of my shoulder mutating and things like that. We'll see if that happens this time. Anyways, today, here to talk to you about another book that I've yet to read. Wait, that I have just read. <laughs> Alright, I don't edit crap here. Dave Eggers, A Hologram for the King, which won a lot of awards in various places for one of the best books of 2012. Um, so I thought, yeah, I'd pick it up. You know, I'm, I, I've read plenty of Dave Eggers' works in the past. Why not give this one a shot, too? Anyways, I'll give a, a brief synopsis before we get into some extra details. Uh, story follows an IT guy from America whose name is Alan. He's, uh, I, I don't know if he gives his specific age. I want to say, you know, in his 40s-ish. He's uh, divorced from more or less a crazy type of wife who is always screaming and getting into fights and stuff and has a child who's at college and he's under a lot of financial stress because his past uh, career has kind of fallen apart where he used to feel successful and now he's just fighting to keep his daughter into college and he doesn't want her to know about that. So in sort of a last ditch effort he's now overseas with a new company to present some new technology to the king of Saudi Arabia. And that is how the story goes, and you follow the character as he attempts to do this stuff. And this is sort of the new style of Dave Eggers. Dave Eggers really hit it off well, and, and I became a huge fan when he released his memoir, um, A Heartbreaking Work of Staggering Genius, which, let, look at the title alone, <laughs> it's just my, I love that. Um, and, and it was an amazing, uh, one of my favorite books, you know, I, I don't know, it's tough to rank it up there, but I, it's a book I recommend to almost everybody. It's just got wide appeal. Um, it, it's, I wouldn't say it's like easy read, you know, like young adult, but it's certainly not too dense or anything. And, and it's, it's moving, hilarious, great stuff. Anyways, from there he kind of went on and created some more, some sort of like, younger 20s type of books, you know, people going on on adventures and stuff like that. He released short story collection, How We Are Hungry, I believe it was. Yeah, I always get the words a little mixed up. And uh, I, I've read, you know, about half of the short stories in there. And then he also did You Shall Know Our Velocity or something similar title with the word velocity in there. And that was a, a, a an intense kind of cool story of a cross-global trip that these two friends went on, you know, kind of capturing what it feels like to be maybe uh, a 25 and doing something thrilling and fun. And then since then, he's kind of shifted gears. He released uh, What is the What? And and that, forgive me for my slaughtering of this pronunciation, but Zetown, I believe, which is the story of uh, post- uh, New Orleans flood type of thing. Um, and then this book here, Hologram for the King, which almost seemed to be like a, a blend of fiction and nonfiction. I know that's the case for Zet Town and What is the What. I don't think that's the case here. I, I want to say that this one was complete fiction, although that's not 100% true. I have not seen any notes that it was written based on somebody else's life, but that's sort of the new style that he's going for. These older uh, men who tend to be in their 30s or 40s, uh, that's not necessarily the case for what is the what, but uh, and and following a bit more of a, of a boring lifestyle. And I'm not you know, I'm not trying to take a shot at, at you IT guys out there or you painters out there in the case of Zatoon, Zatown, but that's, it, it seems to be more of his style now, going for these like realistic everyday snapshots of people that are dealing with high stress lives based on real problems that we face as American citizens. And that has me kind of, uh, I was a big fan of this guy when, when as I said previously with uh, heartbreaking work and since with these last three it's just not clicking to me the same as it used to. I, I get kind of bored and that's what I kind of got from this novel too. Um, the presentation of the book though, I'll, I'll get back a little bit more to my thoughts, but the presentation of the book is absolutely beautiful, stunning, and this is the case for almost all of his works and all the works that he's released through his publishing company, McSweeney's. You might know McSweeney's from, they have a literary journal, they do a lot of, it's an independent publishing house, and every McSweeney's journal that gets published out there, every book that gets published by this company is just always gorgeously presented. The covers, the pages, uh, the typeface, everything. And, and Hologram for the King might even take the cake. It almost looks like a, a, a sacred a sacred check, text 
Um, and I'm trying to think what that word was when, you know, they would, it's not like an enlightened book or something, but they'd use beautiful colors in it, and one of you guys will tell me, I'm sure. That's kind of what I feel like with this, with the, with the presentation. It really brings you in and tracks you, and I love that. You know what? You do have to judge a book by its cover sometimes. It means something, and, and, and it did here as well. Um, he really takes sort of a sparse style, a page out of the uh, Hemingway book when it comes to his writing. I love the way that Eggers works quotations. He never uses quotation marks. I shouldn't say never, but most of the time he uh, he does text he, or dialogue in a in, in a fast-paced, exciting style that I kind of wish more authors would go with. I kind of wish this was the technical right way to do it. He usually just puts uh, a dash, a line, and, and the person uh, what they said and it'll just go line 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 and it's a back and forth conversation between two people and you know you think it might lead to a little bit confusion about who said what but it really doesn't and I feel like it captures the flow of dialogue really well it's one of my favorite parts about Dave Eggers writing style and I'm glad that he took a chance with that when he was younger um, and, and, and it stuck with it I think it's I think it's a, a brilliant I, I, I don't know what else to say but at the heart of uh, a hologram for the king I just I, I could never really I never really felt engaged, um, not like in, in, in the past book review I just did the, the Illustrated Man where I just was craving reading it, I just really wanted to pick it up and read that next story. This one, you know, I, I guess I lean a little bit more towards the fantasy type stuff, maybe a little bit more towards sci-fi, I, I, like, I like excitement, I like things that are outside of this world a little bit, uh, Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland, and the kids books. Um, children's books you know that's obviously not always the case there's plenty of books that I love that are that are based in realism and and don't necessarily have to have an exciting storyline to captivate you but uh, th this book you know following the life of a guy who you know thinks he might have cancer and, and is having troubles with his daughter and troubles with his ex-wife and and is barely getting by on money and you know is probably getting pretty close to suicide because he's so depressed with all this stress going on it's just not what I consider a good escape and when I read books I mean you know it's not always for entertainment or whatever but we do read to get away from our everyday lives and struggles so why would I necessarily want to read about that and there's always exceptions I understand that but in this case it just never really grasped me anyways uh, that's my take I, I, I'm showing a little more interest these days in reading some more contemporary stuff like this uh, so if you guys have you know, suggestions in that type of area. I'd be glad to hear them. Otherwise, follow me on Twitter at Unleash underscore this. There's a link down below. Subscribe, please, because it always matters. Um, yeah, and, you know, I'll be seeing you. I'll be talking to you. That's Dave Eggers, a hologram for the king. See you soon.